Hey what up everyone this is Mondo Day back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you my build guide for Deadpool I'll be showing you what artifacts I use, what uniques, what medallion, what legendary as well as go over um, where I place my power points, my omega points and my par uh, synerg par synergy points um, I did use less than 3000 omega points and I'll explain why in a bit so again this is my build guide for Cosmic Trial for Deadpool so let's get right into it so for the artifacts, I use Spider Clone Serum for the plus one fighting, health, uh, damage, uh, well, the base damage to bosses increase, and damage rating. This is a very, very good um, artifact. Then I use Ultra by level Concussion Projector uh, because it gives you a lot of brutal damage, um, and plus you get 3% chance when we hit to deal 135 uh, physical damage. And then for Medallion, I use Scroll Defenders. I use this one because it gives you plus one strength and a lot of health and deflect rating. And so it also does, um, when you hit with the physical power, you get 308 defense. So this is a pretty pretty decent Medallion. Not the best, but it's doable. Then I use the Advanced Crimson Crystal of the Cataract because it gives you that physical damage rating and for the health. And then Mayhem Demon Blood, I use this because it gives you that extra damage to physical damage attacks health and also too you get you gain two fighting fighting and two sp speed when you stack and then for uniques I use all of his uniques and then for bloodstone demon band I used um, the one he gave you range power or damage to range powers uh, the brutal damage rating the strength health and defense this is a very very good uh, demon band it's kind of rare to find I think in my opinion very very good and then I use for the costume obviously critical damage rating and then I use the core they give you plus one fighting and it gives you when you use a med kit you get 25% of your health and 100 uh, awesome which we both know not we both but we all know that um, he doesn't use spirits and for insignia I use insignia of quake maybe not the best insignia but I use this because it gives you that extra health and you get that extra brutal damage rating so it's very very useful and then for the pet um, I have it to where it, you take less damage from bosses plus five percent of move speed plus two percent physical damage uh, plus two um, rank two area powers and plus two strength and then I use your forged um, 800 defense and then the blessing I use is for 400 health 400 defense rating and plus one durability he is a bit weak and so I like to I want to definitely increase his defense hence why I use the defense your forge and then the blessing that gives you the extra defense and durability because he is a bit weak relic you don't really need it I usually don't have him but if you do I mean it doesn't matter I don't really use them um, and as I stated, I use less than 3,000 Omegas because usually in my build guides, I usually use a legendary that's item grade 70. And this is an item grade 80. So I figured, you know what, to be fair, let me use less Omegas. As you can see, uh, use less Omegas because of the legendary um, 80. And kind of show you guys, it's doable to pass Cosmic Trial with less, less than 2,000 Omegas with having this powerful legendary. So... That's that. So let's go right into the power points. It's pretty fairly easy build. Pretty fun in my opinion. So you you maxed out real armor buster, maxed out superior healing factor for the passive, maxed out bang bang, uh, bang boom bang boom pow, maxed out whole can arrow, maxed out not so mini gun, five on Canadian devil, and then little Deadpool maxed out, and then maxed out mark with mouth. You want to use have gun with will shoot, and then max out server lag, obviously the signature, and god mode. For omegas, let's just go right into it. No enhancement, nothing. Arcane two, nothing. Interstellar one for Earth for the base damage. Hollow for the extra damage to physical powers. Special weapons, I use tactical pistol, assault rifles, and vanquish sniper rifle. One there for each one for the extra damage to range attacks two warpath for the fighting radioactive origins uh, now technology two for spin tech for the extra damage to bosses uh, human augmentation nothing there 
psionics I got obviously you want focus strength of groom for the plus seven strength and then I use uh, Terogenesis because he gives you that plus one durability speed and strength um, you, you definitely want the durability with him because again he is a bit weak obviously the speed is important and then the strength and that is it hero synergies I used um, Ant-Man because he gives you that plus one strength cable for the critical hit rating uh, Colossus for the health and physical damage Hawkeye for the move speed and critical damage uh, Moon Knight for the critical damage or uh, critical rating for physical powers She-Hulk for the physical damage and then um, health regeneration Vision for the range um, increased damage and for two machines as well two ten percent which is a lot Winter Soldier for the plus two percent range power and for the melee damage which he's not really melee but you can use him as melee War Machine for the plus one fighting attribute and then obviously Wolverine for the brutal strike the brutal damage rating so that is where I place my Omegas and um, power, power points and synergy points so let's just get right into the fun stuff which is the rotation and how I play with them again he's fairly simple I like him a lot um, he can be overpowering but yeah, it is what it is um, okay so what I usually use a lot well let me show you where I have him so not so many gun is my kind of a, one of my second main one uh, Canadian Devil I rarely use it but I do use it once in a while uh, real armor buster bang boom pow Hulk hand arrow little Deadpool and then silver lag and so usually what I do is I usually use all these and then I use not so many gun these lotties are all cooldowns and so whenever these are on cooldown I'm usually using not so many gun so again I'll show you here oh yeah and for team up I am using uh, Agent Coulson um, so again so I use all of his cooldowns first and then I use not so many gun just I just keep at it because it does damage see now here's a little this is something that I figured out with Deadpool is that when you signal it's best to use all these cooldowns when you use server lag because when you use server lag it increases the damage for five seconds so in this case it increases the damage to um, 16 percent so again what you want to do is um, you want to use server lag and then use all of his um, all of his cooldown powers to get the full damage of his full power because they're very powerful as is but having it having that extra server lag or signature is very very useful so it looks something like this so use signature oh shoot sorry about that messed it up that was my fault but I messed it up but again what you want to do is um, well it's almost said now but you want to use signature and then the cooldowns so let's just say right now let's say you already activated signature and you're playing you want to use cooldowns and it's literally um, real armor buster bang boom pow call can arrow and then a little Deadpool and I just that's my rotation literally that's it S D F G and then I use not so many gun I hold it until whenever I need to use my cooldowns okay so let's go at it again you can activate server lag and then just go right into the cooldown powers so activate Three million. See, now they're on cooldown. Just use any of the cooldown ones that's available. So start attacking them. Cooldown. And whatever is available, and then just see. And that's really it. It's a pretty easy build. I will say though, with Cosmic Trial, you definitely have to move a lot. So, um, if you notice my video of me passing Cosmic Trial with Deadpool, I used I moved a lot because again, he's a bit weak. So you have to use move a lot and take advantage of that unlimited spirit. So don't be afraid to like move. If you're like kind of like halfway your health, move. Like literally move, but just keep doing damage. Hence why I, I use Agent Coulson because he does summon. So I figured the summons will kind of distract the, the enemies and do extra damage while I'm, I'm moving around. Make sense? So again, rotation, use signature, 
cooldown powers and then once the signature is in cooldown and no, you don't longer have that um the extra damage just use it any any cooldown power use them whenever you can and that's really it there's a little thing though i will give you advice too is that for this power right here real armor buster try to line up as many enemies as you can that way you can does full it does extra it does a lot of damage to a lot of uh, enemies so what do you mean by that is this um, you see how we go straight so want to have lined up as many as possible so let's say I want to attack this person and this person is in the middle or in the, in the way it does damage to both I'll show you what I mean see it does damage to both so when you're playing with them try to set it up where you have enemies in between if you want to attack this one try to have it to where you have enemies in between that way when you do that power it does not only damage to the one in front of you it does also damage the one you're trying to attack and again that does a lot of damage this 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 power alone does a lot of damage real armor buster does a lot so when you do that you know you're you're doing extra you're basically extra doing extra damage to other enemies as well as the one targeted so that's my, my advice for that um for this one too little deadpool it taunts people so what happens is it actually brings enemies closer so one way one way you can do it is if you're playing what you can do is you can set little deadpool and taunt the enemies let the enemies go there and then you can use hook a hand that way it does the burn and then you can use bang bang pow bang boom pow and then when you set them up correctly and you set this up boom see what I mean so again you can use a little Deadpool taunt them that way the enemies can go to that taunt and then use Hulk hand arrow for the area damage and bang boom pow to do extra damage and then once you set up yourself use the real armor buster or as I like to call it the sniper gun sniper rifle and then just do that damage look at that right there see I did three hit three enemies and it did massive damage so that would be my advice and the extra tip. I know it's kind of, it's gonna be kind of weird first when you try it, but I'm telling you, if you can set it up correctly and you get used to doing that, it you can do massive damage. You don't have to worry so much of his health. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is my Deadpool. That is my build guide for Deadpool. He's fairly fun, um, but just keep an eye on his health a lot. Um, definitely use a core that gives you health when using med kit. And uh, that is it. That is my build guide. So if you have any questions. Uh, please feel free to comment in the section below any questions or maybe any requests again put it in the comment section below i've completed a lot of heroes with uh cosmic trials so i can give you my input and my advice as how to play with certain characters Alrighty, thanks bye bye